NSA and the intelligence community is focused on getting intelligence wherever it can, by any means possible. It's happening domestically. Obama knew everything about this spying attack, but uh, that he doesn't not only knew about it, that he ordered the taping of leading politicians in Europe and worldwide. And million, 60 million phone calls just one month uh, 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 were traced, were harvested the information on them. They are violating human rights, uh, they are violating diplomatic rela relations with the AU member state and this is, has to be stopped. There has been really serious damage on the diplomatic relations with the US and I think Merkel, Hollande and all the others in Europe, they cannot go on after this scandal, otherwise they would betray all the citizens in Germany and in the European Union member states. Why was the NSA spying on so many different world leaders? This started to leak out through the, the Snowden documents. There's been a lot of outrage over it. Now the, the, the questions really have kind of moved to more of an international sphere, which uh, aren't questions so much of legality, but more questions of policy, and particularly foreign policy. NSA activities and intelligence was handing over massive amounts of data to the NSA. Online surveillance. Any analyst at any time can target anyone, uh, any selector anywhere. That's a fundamentally dangerous thing to democracy. This is the truth, this is what's happening. Even if you're not doing anything wrong, you're being watched and recorded. And the, the storage capability of these systems increases every year consistently by orders of magnitude. The greatest fear that I have regarding um, the outcome of these disclosures is that nothing will change. People will see in the media uh, all of these disclosures. They'll know the lengths that the, the government is going to grant themselves powers unilaterally um, to create greater control over global society. But they they won't be willing to take the risks necessarily to stand up and fight to change things, to force their representatives to actually take a stand in their interests.